As the pandemic unfolds, more questions are surfacing about the spread of COVID-19. That includes a theory that the coronavirus can spread through cigarette smoke. News 4 investigator Chris Negus began asking, are smokers at a higher risk? And is secondhand smoke just as dangerous? COVID-19 is known to attack a person's lungs, and according to some medical professionals, the best way to prevent that is to make sure your lungs are strong and healthy in the first place. For many, that begins when they quit smoking. There's no better time to quit than today for smoking. While scarring to your lungs can't be reversed, the U.S. Centers for Disease Control and Prevention says there are several short-term benefits when you quit smoking. One of the first things to heal is the cilia in your lungs. So the cilia are, are tiny hair-like follicles that help to trap damaged viruses, uh, debris, and move that debris upwards out of your lungs so it doesn't stay there and cause issues. And so it acts as one of the main defense systems against infection. And so without that, I think smokers unfortunately are a little bit defenseless. When you quit smoking, you are also helping to reduce the inflammation on your lungs, allowing you to take deeper breaths and not get as easily winded. People who have pre-existing lung conditions, uh, have pre-existing respiratory conditions such as COPD, cystic fibrosis, uh, may have um, existing issues related to their lung health because of smoking. But according to medical experts, non-smokers can also be impacted because if a smoker is infected with COVID, it is possible the smoke the individual breathes out carries the virus. If an individual Thank is you. close to a person smoking who has the virus, he or she could breathe in that same smoke. The same goes for vaping. Smokers are breathing in and exhaling out whatever his or her body is carrying. And because of damage to a smoker's lungs, they could become sicker for a longer period of time. And it explains a lot of why uh, a smoker who develops a common cold may develop a prolonged cough for, you know, sometimes weeks to months. Another piece of advice from doctors, if you have a neighbor that smokes, they say you should close your windows to make sure that smoke doesn't drift in. Chris Negus, News 4.